Alright, we're down at the Meander River. I just had a 20 minute walk. It's just on 10 o'clock. And um, today we're starting off with a brand new brand new setup. It's the um, Yakuma Cellulo Finesse Ride, one to three kilo, beautiful, well balanced, well balanced lightweight ride. That's um, got a brand new Akuma Inspira ISX um, 20B reel on it, filled with Platypus Super 100 four pound, very nice thin mono, and a brand new, also a brand new Aglia Furia um, size one. We're going to try to start off with anyway. Um, yeah, so everything's brand new, new new tackle tactics cap as well for a bit of luck, and yeah, so we'll see how we go. Alright, oh, oh, puffed and puffed and chuffed across the river. I've had a big long walk to where I'm going to hop in and start fishing. You can see the tree line right in the far distance. That's where I've crossed over the river and come back down through these cattle paddocks, dairy paddocks, and uh, yeah, I'm just about to make my way through this bush down in there and you can probably see the sun bouncing off the water down there. That's where I'll be hopping in. It's running pretty fast by the looks of things too. But I don't know whether we'll get anything today. But we'll just we'll keep trying. It's got to come good sooner later this river, the meander. Alright, I'm just in the river. As you can see there's a fair bit of water pushing down. Even though it's not real deep, um, I prefer it to be a little bit shallow. About another it needs to drop at least another four inches. Four to five inches and it'll be perfect. Normally this area where I'm standing here in the water is usually, the rocks are usually exposed and that's usually when it's at, just at the perfect height for trout fishing up through here. But, um, oh, we'll flick the little aglia flurry around and so see what we're we looking for. Is, um, some flat water on this fast water here. Flat water it's sitting close to the river banks or flat water on this side here or you know because uh, the trout won't be sitting out in that middle of that fast water because it's just too much too much push in it so that's where I'll be uh, concentrating on anyway uh, we're 20 minutes or nearly half hour actually into this session I've been right up through that whole length of water there without a sign of a fish not a follow nothing um, even that beautiful little flat water by that riverbank over there normally holds a trout nothing in that so I worked it out, there was about seven, seven areas on my way back up this river before I get out and go, move on to another park. There's a big deep section I've got to bypass. Um, yeah, so there's about seven, seven uh, trout holding areas left on this river that I know of that I've caught trout in before. So if there's nothing in them, it's going to be a pretty rough day on the meander. I think I'll be heading over to the creek have a fish in the creek on the way home. There are those seven spots where I thought may give up a trout. They went nothing. This was the last spot was here along that river bank there, that flat water. And yeah, where that big mound of rocks is a dead ahead there in the middle of the stream is where I get out and back on land and head back around. There's some deep water up around the corner. There is one little flat water just this side runs along the edge of that rock. I'll give that a Give that a little flick on the way out and see if we go. But so far it's been pretty average, not, you know, not in a follow. And, uh, usually that's not a good sign. I not get any glass here than that, that water. Absolutely beautiful. Glorious day, 15 degrees going to be here today. It's about 13 at the moment. Light um, northwesterly breeze, I think it feels like. But, uh, that's, uh, I've got to bypass this water, it's a uh, big wide deep stretch, just too deep to wade up through there, so I'll go right up um, probably the top end of this before I can get back in. Still no sign of a fish though, nothing. It's unbelievable. Even this big water here, sometimes you'll see them dart, darting around in here, but I've been looking down on top of it, but no sign of a fish. Well, I bypassed that big wide stretch, actually more than what I was going to, because uh, I can see the, the river bottom from the top there. Is, Pretty slimy and a lot of green algae up through there, so although it's pretty wasting my time anyway, the fishing's going here, I'm gonna be wasting my time. But I'm just gonna work my way up through here now and up around the corner, some nicer water up around the corner, some nice flat water on that uh, opposite river bank. Other than that, yeah, I'll get out and then head to the creek. River bottom here's looking a bit uh, a bit mouldy too, on the green side. Not quite as bad as the Mersey though. 
Well, my day's done here. I've come right up. Fish turned on for another oh, 20, 20 minutes and still not a sign of a fish. So I'm getting out now and heading back to the car and we'll shoot over to the creek and have a fish up through there. Oh, I'm back at the car. Friggin' hot. Hot out that walk. Um, very poor. No time in the river, an hour and a half in that river without even seeing a fish. Never even spooked one. Normally we go along the river and you spook one or dart off here or dart off there sort of thing. Nothing. Only thing that had any life in on that river was a platypus and a few ducks and me. And hardly any insects, you know. So I won't be back here for a while, but don't don't um, turn off yet. But I'm heading over to Western Creek now to have a fish up in there and hopefully I might pick up a trout or two there. There we I go. Decided, um, to give Western Creek a miss, I, I um, called in there, it was pretty low, it was running a bit dirty, probably from the dairy farm wash up, so I've headed on to Tannum Water on the way home, so we'll, we'll just see how we go, I'm puffing a bit because I had a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a stint through the scrubbing paddocks and that to get here, so, so hopefully I may finish up with the trout here today. Alright, we've just got our first little trout, not a big one, he's uh, really took the uglier fluoro trout pattern. Just took it the last minute too. Lovely fish. That was taken with that uh, a little inlet running in just there. I just cast it the other side of that towards that bubble line under that uh, bush right close to that bank. And uh, yeah that's where he was sitting, right in there. So, yeah, very nice fish. So we'll just uh, get a photo of him in a minute. Oh, and take another off. one. It's a bit better fish this one. Oh, he's a lovely fish. A little bit bigger than the last one. Not a lot, but yeah, beautifully conditioned. He was just taken off that, just off that edge of that riverbank, by that, where that bush is touching the water, just there. So we'll get him off. That's turned out to be a good, uh, a good, uh, good little session here. I'm happy just getting getting one today, by the meander fish. God, it's true. A nice long stretch of water ahead of me here. The sun's getting low. Um, I'm pretty late getting here. After I left Western Creek, I went and drove around for a while and had a look at a few other little rivers and streams in the area and then went and had lunch and yeah, just messed around a bit and then I didn't hit the river here till about, I don't know, 3.30 I suppose it was, 20 past three in this afternoon. So, but, uh, it's pretty shaded here too, but the sun is getting low. It's, um, now it's five to four now, so but hopefully I'll get another another trout or two before I get, get back to the car. I fish right up through here, and that last stretch of water on the footage there, I've had one follow from a little small brown, and that's been it. It's gone dead. I've got those two trout, and you know, within probably three or four minutes, and then that's the first trout I've seen in about 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah, it's just and the sun's getting low, it's perfect conditions for them now. But, uh, yeah, they're just not here. They're sort of, um, I don't know, moved on somewhere. Do a bit of water left before I get back to the car, so we'll see how yeah, we go. There's some beautiful stretches of water up through here. And uh, yeah, still no sign of a bloody fish. So what we're going to do, we've got a, another nice flat water here. And then it's a straight run of water, medium medium depth water, probably um, knee deep to waist deep from there on up to where the car is. So it's my last chance. I mean, they two fish so quick and then just nothing. Everything's gone. Unreal. Finally. <laughs> Finally, we bloody hooked one. And he tried to chop in a knot. There you go. He's not a big fish. I just had... Um, one on that riverbank. Now I had two hits from one on that riverbank and missed him both times. And then I just flicked this one up into there under them trees, right up into the pocket on the left hand side up in there. And um, yeah, and that's he come and grabbed hold of this little tacker come and grab it, so three. Jeez, it's been a long time I've been drinks. I'm just gonna make our way up through here and there's another nice pool at the end of this um, little walk here where that's you can see the bright sunshine up there, hitting the, hitting the uh, edge of the riverbank there. It's a nice long pool there, so 
make it number four if we're lucky. Well, day's done. Uh, that's what, five past five, I'll finish up with three. Three browns. Um, just had two hookups in a pool just there, and uh, but missed both fish. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty every day. But I suppose in the end, after fishing me and the river, and then look at Western Creek and get nothing, you know, anywhere there to finish up with three in the end, fishing another little little stream near home there, and um, probably could have had five, but oh well, it's a day out. It's one of those days where I, I wasn't going to go fishing, and then you think, oh, well, I won't I, and then in the end, sometimes you think, oh hell, I should have stayed home. <laughs> Long day. Anyway, till next time, tight lines.